Today I'm going to show you everything I eat in a week to stay shredded at 36 years old. Six years ago I was overweight, burnt out and in a deep depression but then I figured out what actually works and lost 45 pounds in just four months. Since then I've helped hundreds of people all over the world to get in the best shape of their life without a boring diet. Today I want to show you that you can do the same. So let's get into it. Before we get into the detail exactly what I'm eating, I want to explain how I've put this diet together. My diet is built on five core principles and it's those principles that have helped me to stay shredded year round. First and foremost, my diet is very balanced. I'm getting plenty of all three macronutrients, protein, carbs, and fats. Protein to protect the lean muscle, keep me feeling full, stabilize my blood sugar, and protect my immune system. Carbs for my energy because that's our body's preferred source of fuel and fats to protect my endocrine system, my hormones. Secondly, as you can see, my diet is omnivorous. I've got plenty of lean meats and fish, as well as fruit and veggies. Thirdly, it's nutrient dense and made of whole foods. Everything that I eat is making me healthier. And that's by design. You really want to limit the amount of processed and junk food and refined sugars in your diet. I made another video all about this, but I actually had to take it down. So I have to be a little bit careful with my words, but just take my word for it. I mean, you don't even need to take my word for it. You already know this. That stuff is trash. Processed food isn't even real food because it's manufactured not produce. The fourth principle of my diet is that everything is quick, simple, and easy. Everything that I eat can be prepared in 20 minutes or less. I'm a busy guy and I expect you are too. I don't have time to be doing up three hour recipes. If you enjoy that, power to you, but it's not for me. And then last, but probably most important, it's enjoyable. Everything that I eat, everything that you see here, I enjoy eating. And that's important because if you don't enjoy it, if you hate your diet, you're not going to stick to it. And if you don't stick to it, well, you know what happens. So it's sustainable. And that's important because it makes me consistent. Okay, let's start with my breakfast. So I actually have the same breakfast every single day. I have muesli, which gives me a nice source of carbs. And I have that with Greek yogurt, which gives me a healthy dosage of protein. And just to add a little bit of flavor and not spice, but you know what I mean? I have 10 grams of honey with that. I also wash that down. Well, not really wash it down because it's only like that much, but I have a probiotic with that for my gut health. Now, as I go through the video and show you exactly what I'm eating, there's actually no point in me telling you the amount that I have because the amount I have is not going to be the same amount that you have. But what I will say at this point is yes, I have a food scale and I weigh my food because the difference between weighing your food and not weighing your food is quite literally that. It takes you an extra two seconds, maybe three if I have to press the on button of the scale. Costs about seven pounds on Amazon, by the way. This is the difference maker because if you are doing this blindly, if you have never weighed your food, if you have no idea how much you are eating, how the heck do you expect to hit your goal? So yeah, if you haven't already, get yourself on Amazon, get yourself a food scale, and it's gonna change your life because it's gonna help you to realize how much you're probably over consuming certain things. You also notice in my breakfast, I should have said that there is nothing processed here. I'm not having any cereals. I'm not having any junk. Side note, actually, because it's one of the most important parts of my diet, but I've just realized I don't have any here. Oh yes, I do, water. I will drink three liters of water before 9 a.m. So many people tell me that they struggle with this, but it's just because they're not focused on it. I wake up at 6 a.m. and have 500 milliliters of water with an electrolyte powder. I go to the gym at 7 a.m. and I always take one of these, a two liter bottle of water with me. And on the way to the gym, during my workout and on the walk home, I will make sure that I finish it. And then when I get home, I have a protein shake mixed with another 500 milliliters of water. So that's three liters of water by 9 a.m. Simple. Here's the thing though. You don't have to drink three liters of water before 9 a.m. But the point that I'm making is that if I can do it by 9 a.m., you can do it by 9 p.m. Fair point? Drinking water isn't hard if you focus on it. And listen, it wasn't always easy for me, but I focused on it and it became a habit. And it's such an underrated high leverage habit because of the amazing benefits that it gives you. Doing this means I'm hydrated, clear headed, fueled and energized all day. I'm not hungry, there's no brain fog, and I don't feel lethargic. Trust me, this is a game changer. Anyway, back to the main part of the video. Okay, moving on to lunch and dinner. So I will actually always have the same five meals. I just rotate them throughout the days in the week. Those meals will be made up of a lean source of protein, a carbohydrate, which for me is normally rice, and then some kind of vegetable, which will always be frozen. And I'll explain all of this now. So for my lean meats, well, I should say lean meats and fish. We've got prawns first up. We've also got some mince here, which is 5% fat, I believe. 
We've got some chicken, and the key here is that it's covered in a lovely little bit of garlic. We've got a steak, and I live in Spain, so I'm very lucky. We get imported steak here from Uruguay, which, in my most humble opinion, trumps Argentinian steak. And then last but certainly not least, we've got some salmon. So those are my five sources of protein. As I say, I will rotate them throughout the week. I'm not averse to having any of them for lunch or for dinner. It's very much about how I feel or how much time I've got to prepare or when something's going off. And the reason I'm prioritizing lean meats and fish for my protein is that they are actually the best sources of protein that you or I can get. And that's because they are complete proteins. And a lot of people don't realize this, but what that means is that they contain all nine of the essential amino acids that our body needs to be able to produce proper protein. And that's important. They're called essential amino acids because it's essential that we get them through diet because our body can't produce them naturally. So it's all well and good getting your protein in, but what you really want to focus on is the quality of that protein. The best sources of protein, those complete proteins that we just spoke about, are meat, fish, eggs, and dairy. Speaking of the eggs, actually, I should say, I will always have two eggs a day and I will have it with one of these meals. It doesn't really matter, it depends on the meal. I can either have them scrambled or I can actually mix them in. So for example, with the mints, I will put it in a frying pan and I'll mix the eggs in with the mints and just cook it all in one. And then we come on to my carb of choice, which for me right now is literally just some microwave rice. Again, it has to adhere to my principles quick and simple. This takes 90 seconds to make. And there is absolutely no nutritional difference between whether I cook this rice in water and boil it or I just microwave it. It doesn't matter. So for me, even though it might cost me an extra 50 cents, 50 pence per day to have the microwave rice, I'd rather have it this way because it's going to save me time. It's going to make sure that my diet is quick, simple, and easy. And then of course, vegetables, which are packed with nutrients, minerals, and vitamins. And I will always have frozen vegetables for two reasons. One is money. Frozen vegetables are cheaper than fresh vegetables. And then reason number two, and the one most people don't realize, is that frozen fruit and veg actually holds its nutritional value better than fresh stuff. Personally, for me, I rotate between spinach and broccoli, but it doesn't really matter which ones you have, that's just personal preference. Ideally, you're gonna wanna go for green leafy veg like these guys right here because they contain the most vitamins, minerals, and nutrients. But honestly, remember, we wanna make sure that your diet is enjoyable. So if you hate broccoli, if you hate spinach, that's absolutely fine. Find ones that you enjoy and have those. So these meals that you see here, they're hitting all five of the core principles I've used to build this diet. I enjoy them all. They're all quick and easy to prepare. They're all nutrient dense, balanced, and omnivorous. I just realized going through all of this that there's actually a sixth principle that I use to build my diet, but I think it kind of goes without saying. And that's that it's affordable. I'm not sat here taking you through that this is my caviar that I have on Tuesday and this is my truffle pizza that I have on Wednesday. All of this stuff is widely available and pretty affordable. Also side benefit, but an important one is that because I eat the same meals, I don't need to track my calories. Don't get me wrong, the first time I ate all of these, I weighed them all out, I measured everything out, and I made sure that it was within my calories and macros. So because I'm able to eat the same thing every day because I enjoy it because it's quick and easy and all the other principles that we talked about, I don't need to track my calories anymore. I know that if I eat these meals, I'm gonna hit my targets. By the way, if you don't know the number of calories that you should be eating, that really is the start point. So click the first link in the description that's underneath this video and I'll calculate your numbers and send you personalized targets for free. But as well as my main meals, what I'm also doing is having healthy snacks throughout the day. And here are the two healthy snacks that I love to have. They are both sweet, and as a result, they are both enjoyable, which is one of the core principles of my diet. As I said, probably the most important principle of my diet. So let me explain exactly why I have these two. So first and foremost, the blueberries, I will always have these mid-morning, and that is because they are full of antioxidants, full of vitamins, and full of minerals. And as you will notice, they are frozen, just like the vegetables, the same principle applies. The nutritional value of frozen fruit and veg is higher than the fresh. And then mid afternoon, I will have one of these YoPro Danone protein mousses. It doesn't have to be this brand. This is just the ones that are available to me in the supermarket that I go to here in Spain. This is 15 grams of protein and literally it tastes like a real chocolate mousse. It isn't a real chocolate mousse, but there is chocolate in it. So it gives me the protein without the sugar, but most importantly, it tastes fantastic. I just remembered there is actually a third snack that I will sometimes have, and that is these almonds, or as they say in Spain, almendras. And I have these specifically on days where I've just not been able to hit my calories. Maybe I've missed a meal because I've been too busy, or I'm just feeling really lethargic and tired, 
or I've had an intense leg session or whatever it might be. I use these just to top up my calories. You wanna be super careful with nuts though. Again, make sure you're weighing these out because most people don't realize they're going to have like a small handful of nuts and have like 60 grams. And obviously nuts are very high in fat, healthy fats, which is good. But as a result, they're very calorie dense. So it doesn't take many of them to make you go over your calories. But that's another good reason for having them. If you're struggling to hit your calorie target, if you're struggling with energy throughout the day, if you just need a little bit of a pick-me-up, but you don't want something that's going to completely mess up your blood sugar levels, that's going to be high on the glycemic index, then going for something like nuts, if you enjoy nuts, if you if you can have nuts without you know dying, then, <laughs> then they are absolutely fantastic for it. So yes, sometimes I have these, not every single day, but I want to be completely transparent, open and honest about my diet. And then last, but by no means least, I want to show you the treats that I'm having every single day without fail. And it's super important, I cannot emphasize this enough, whoever you are, whatever your goals are, you want to make sure that you've got some treats in your diet. Now, of course, treats are gonna look different to every single person, but for me, there are two things that I have. You probably noticed from clicking on this video, because I'm holding it, that I will have a cup, a mug, a glass, whatever you want to call it, of Fanta Zero Sugar Lemon, Fanta Lemon Zero Sugar, however you want to say it, every single day. This is a joke. It's an actual hack. Probably my favorite hack of 2024, actually. Like, it tastes legit like real Fanta, but there is zero sugar in it. In fact, there's basically zero calories in it. 250 milliliters has five calories. Like, you could guzzle this all day long and not put on a single pound. And then second to my Fanta lemon, oh, I've just realized I put it out of arm's reach. There we go. Without fail, every single day, I will have some dark chocolate. I used to be addicted to normal chocolate, dairy chocolate, but I managed to wean myself off of it by slowly but surely reducing the dairy milk chocolate and increasing the dark chocolate. Now, I don't go super hard on the dark chocolate. I have the 70% cacao, 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 I don't even know how you say that name, that word, which is wild considering I'm a nutritionist, but here we go, I'm not a chef. But yeah, I now love this stuff. I will have two squares after each of my meals. I mean, not after breakfast, that would be a little bit weird. But after every single lunch, after every single dinner, I will have two, sometimes four squares, and I'm feeling particularly naughty, and this weekend, whatever it might be. But I will have this every single day. And guys, I cannot emphasize this enough. I want to say it again. It's so important to have treats that you're going to look forward to throughout the day, every single day in your diet. Because again, the most important core principle of your diet is to make sure that it's enjoyable. Because if it's not enjoyable, if it's not sustainable, you're not going to be consistent with it. And if you're not consistent with it, you're not going to get the results that you want. Before I leave you today, I want to give you the ultimate hack if you are trying to clean up your diet and eat a little bit healthier. And that's to avoid supermarkets, avoid grocery stores altogether. And you might be thinking, okay, but Doug, if I do that, how and where am I going to get my food from? Well, the answer is actually very simple and it's probably staring you in the face. And that's to do your food shop online. It's cheaper, less emotional, more convenient and easier. It's cheaper because the supermarkets are always going to give you their best prices online. And what they also do is put their best offers on the homepage. It's more convenient because they'll deliver your food to your front door at a time and on a day that works best for you. It's less emotional because you're not getting drawn into all the psychological warfare that they play on you in these supermarkets where they're loud, where they're bright, where they're putting a bakery by the front door and they're putting sweets by the checkout. And it's easier because once you've built your shopping list once, it's literally just add to cart, 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 add to cart pay and then it's delivered to your front door whenever you want it to come but listen i appreciate that online shopping isn't available to everybody it's not available to me here in spain so if you can't do that and you physically have to go to the supermarkets like i do make a list and stick to the list just like you would stick to any other plan the only thing that i haven't taken you through today is the supplement stack that i have every single day so if you want me to do a video on that, drop a comment, let me know, and I'm more than happy to do it. But listen, guys, that was my diet. It doesn't have to be yours. Remember the core principles that I spoke to you about at the beginning. If you stick to those, you're going to be golden. Make it enjoyable. Make it balanced. Make it omnivorous. Make it quick and easy. And make sure it's nutrient-dense and try and cut out the processed junk. But remember, the start point is knowing how much you should be eating. So if you don't know how many calories you should be having every single day, first link in the description underneath this video. I'll calculate your numbers for you and I'll send you personalized targets completely for free. And if you know how much you should be eating and you stick to those five principles, it'll never feel like you're on a diet again. Don't overcomplicate it and don't sweat the small stuff. It really doesn't matter what time of day you're eating or how many meals you're having. 
What you want to avoid is yo-yoing between lots of methods just because you don't see results after one week. Experiment, find what works for you, and then stay consistent. But again, and I'm really reinforcing this point because it's so important. If you enjoy it, the consistency will be easy. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did so that you don't miss the next one, and I'll see you soon.